Finally, tell me about Daniel. Well, if Daniel doesn't see eye to eye with someone, he makes it apparent that it's not worth developing the relationship. Not only that, he makes his own opinion very clear about that person. This has a ripple effect on the people he tells and erodes any sense of teamwork. When he's looking forward to meeting someone, he can get overexcited. But some people find this enthusiasm overbearing and pull back from it. It makes it hard for people to connect to him. Daniel always reacts to people rather than respond to them. To have a strong opinion is fine, but to dismiss others' thoughts is not. He needs to learn to tailor his communication style to the person he's talking to, rather than always being direct and unfeeling. He comes across as blunt, not empathetic at all, particularly with his own staff. Daniel is very good at finding faults in any situation and making those people feel belittled. His staff know that any tiny mistake they make will be highlighted, often in front of the whole team. Their achievements are seldom recognised, and in his own words, they're just doing the job I pay them for. And as a result, they don't feel appreciated or valued. I'd like to see him avoiding making judgmental or negative statements to his staff when those statements had no value. Instead, he needs to help people see what they could do differently and help them develop. There's a stigma that exists that Daniel is tough, difficult to work for and unapproachable. He may achieve results, but in my experience, it's always at the expense of others. People are starting not to value his input and at times view it as his need to be seen as superior.